Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a new experiment growing herbs in mini hydroponic. This is a very special herb that um, you may not have seen before or you may have if you live in tropical regions. So these are Peperomia pellucida and they are tropical herbs that could be found easily in Southeast Asia, in the Philippines, uh, in South America even. In some regions of the world, these are considered weeds, but in most of the southeastern countries, these are considered a nice herb that people use in salads and many other dishes. So these are very beautiful and they grow like succulents. They love moisture and humidity. So in places where it's really hot and there's no shade, they usually don't do that well, but I've grown them in Texas under extreme heat and they still grow they're just not going to grow as well as they will when they have shade and uh, humidity and moisture so uh, the plants are very beautiful as I mentioned the leaves are like heart shaped and they produce these little tentacles and those little tentacles there are the seeds um, the, the section that hold the seeds so the seeds right here once they are ready they turn black they're very hardy plants because once the seed drop, they can overwinter themselves and then in the next uh, spring or when the weather is um, warm again, they'll grow. Let me show you some places where the seeds drop and they will just come back seasons after season. So here is one patch. So they're very beautiful. Uh, they look like succulent plants and they're just just wonderful and they all crowd together in one area and they can multiply so if the stem falls onto the ground they'll stick to the the soil and then they'll multiply and spreading some more so uh, let me show you another patch okay and here's the other patch and as you can see it's right in the area where there's a lot of shades and here they're under my pepper plants and as you can see the new plants are growing because the seeds dropped so those are the new baby plants there. And then I have some over here where the seeds dropped and these are the baby plants. The baby plants are very, very small and I can't believe from this little tiny plant, they'll grow to be as large as they can, can spread. So here are some more. They just drop and they grow new plants. So uh, let's harvest some seeds and then we'll go through the process and try to grow this in hydroponic. Alright guys, so we'll collect a few stems and then we'll, we'll get the seeds off of it and I'll show you what they look like. So there are some right over here. See, the, the, the black seeds are the ones that are ready. So we'll, we'll take these black seeds and we'll, we'll try to grow them in, in hydroponic. Alright guys, I'm going to explain how I made this uh, system very quickly. Because it's very, very simple and I've done this system many times. So I'll link you to some of the videos on how to do it. So what you need is a water bottle. And you want to cut the water bottle right here and it's usually where the label ends you see here's the hourglass shape right here right above like an inch above that you cut around there where the label ends because what that does is it creates a space that the two inch net cup can fall in and it'll be held against this groove right here so it doesn't fall all the way down so you have this as your reservoir space and then you also need a one and a half inch rock wool cube. You can get this on Amazon. I will list out uh, places where you can get this, the exact one. And then you just put the rock wool in there and that would go into your system. And then you can either get something else to cover this area so the lights cannot get through because when light gets through into the nutrients, it causes uh, algae to grow and algae will suffocate your plants in hydroponic because it will take away all of the oxygen and then suffocate the plant slowly so it's a good idea to cover this up 
And that is why this little koozie comes in handy because I saved this for my Christmas party. And that will act as a shield to prevent lights from getting through, just like that. Okay, so that is our system. Very simple, nothing complicated. Okay, and first what we're gonna do is we're going to put water in here so that uh, the rock wool can be soaked. I'm just gonna go like that very simple this is water straight out of my faucet and then I'm gonna soak it or you can pre soak it if you like but that's there it is and once the rock wool is soaked then you can remove it and you pour this water out all right and then what we're going to do is we'll take the seeds that we collected and we're going to just put it on top of this net cup right here where the rock wool is so because i have so many seeds i'm just going to drop them all in doesn't matter where and the seeds are small so it's hard to see what i'm doing but i'm just basically dropping it on top of the rock wool okay and because the seed is making contact with the uh, moistened rock wool cube there, that should be enough water for it to sprout. So just push it like that. And we're going to put this back. Okay, and then we're going to get a little Ziploc bag and we're going to cover the top. That way moisture cannot escape. Okay, and here is my snack. Ziploc bag. I'm gonna place it like that. And then I'm gonna put this under my light. I have my arrow garden that's going on right now for other plants. So I'm just gonna use the space to put this under. And then we'll wait for it to sprout. I've not grown uh, this herb in hydroponic before, but I assume that because it loves moisture, it should be fine because hydroponic is all about uh, the moisture around the rock wall so it should be fine so let me show you where this go all right guys here is where the seeds are going to stay it's sitting right next to my other plants under my arrow garden so when there's progress i'm going to come back and show you guys all right guys it has been exactly 12 days now and we have progress so the seedlings sprouted a few days ago it took a while i guess that's just how these are they uh, every time I try to plant them, they do take about 7 to 12 days to sprout. So this is normal here. So we got a bunch of little plants over there, which is uh, good news. So um, at this point, what I did uh, is to keep the rock wool from drying out. So I have water here. And anytime the, uh, the rock wool is kind of dry, because as soon as you remove the plastic... Uh, cover uh, it does dry quickly so all you have to do is just spray like that and that would uh, help to uh, add water back into the rock wool and uh, allow the plants to grow so uh, that's what i've been doing since uh, they sprouted a few days ago and uh, they're growing nicely so i will come back and show you guys soon all right guys welcome back it has been exactly 41 days now and my herbs are doing great so these uh, type of herbs grow really really slow in the beginning uh, same thing if uh, i grew these in soil outside they do take a bit of time to get started and begin to grow but as soon as they get past uh, like about two months they start to multiply and grow like crazy so uh, this is the first time I've grown these in hydroponic and they are actually doing pretty well. Um, I was a little bit surprised because um, these have really shallow roots and even at this age, when, once they're pretty big, they still don't have any roots out into uh, the, the reservoir. So let me show you what they look like. Okay, and here it is. You see there are no roots down there because these have really really shallow roots so what I've been doing to feed these things is I use a medicine dropper like these here 
and I just take the nutrients and I just drop it and I made sure that the uh, the rock wool is nice and uh, moistened and that's it and uh, they don't drink too much so I only do that every once uh, or once every few days and uh, that's the time that I usually also um, feed my seedlings uh, some water as well so I give it very little nutrients like um like a half strength and I mix it in a water bottle like this here <laughs> so I use this uh, recycle bottle and then I just feed them a little bit uh, it it does take a few a little bit of effort every few days but it's really uh, not much um, to me I, I kind of enjoyed it because I, I get to see them grow and look at look at how beautiful these things are so I think um, in a few months they will grow much larger because there's always moisture in the soil or in the rock wool and it's very warm inside because right now it's freezing cold outside and everything's dead so uh, that's a fun way to grow these indoors and watch them grow and and have some fun while you're at it so that is it guys it's very simple to do these uh, little mini setups I've um, grown a bunch of stuff this way and I even have some peppers so let me show you some peppers so here's my mini, mini pepper tree here or plant and you can see they're fruits so I do I grow this in my other uh, setup out uh, out in the tent it's under the uh, heaven hidden harvest grow light but they're pretty much the same as the arrow garden so um, you can do it that way as well just get yourself a good nice little light setup or if you have a arrow garden like me here and you want to experiment you can do also do that as well so uh, that is it guys this is how I grow my peperomia under these lights uh, for experiment and for fun so I hope you find the video entertaining if you have any questions or comments please leave it below and thank you so much for watching